With your first News at 6 Sports, here's Lee Timmerman. If it's close to state tournament time for Legion Baseball, then that can only mean one thing. College football is not far away. The games are played in the fall, but the commitment to college football is a year-round pursuit. Dickinson State is one of many programs in the state that have players stick around in the summer. The workouts certainly are not as organized as or as intense as in season, but they could be just as important. We really emphasize that, that that you win, you know, win things in the off season, and you know we have spring ball, and we say that's kind of the first quarter, and then we have a June session of workouts and a July session, and that's our second and third quarter, and then in our preseason is our fourth quarter. But in July, in June and July, it's imperative, and we've been very fortunate this year. We'll have over 70 players that are in town in Dickinson uh, working out. Coach Stanton says they're not only working out, they're working which also helps keep them close to campus in the off season. It helps that, you know, that there's a lot of jobs for them here, but it also, I think that culture that, that that's been created to the guys want to be around and really want to push each other and, and get better. And uh, we're four days a week. We're working out together with 70 plus guys. They can come in in the morning and they can come or come in at the night. And, and we do one session a week together. And I think it's really, uh, really something that's helped us with, uh, with our program and with our success. The Blue Hawks' first game is six weeks from today against Rocky Mountain in Dickinson. Of the Class A Legion teams in our area, the Bismarck Reps are having the best season so far. The Reps have a dual purpose role. They are their own team, working on gathering as many victories as possible, plus they are in the feeder system for the Governors. A good way to describe the season so far is so far so good. But I feel like it's going really good, you know. The boys are, we're playing like best baseball we've probably ever played. Uh, we're about, I think we're 20 and three or 20 and four, and we're scoring a lot of runs during our games. And it's going pretty good, you know? It's good. I think we have a lot of confidence going into games too. Like we've been, like when we go and play games, we always, uh, we have a lot of fun before games too, which gets our minds going too. Chris has done a really good job keeping these guys together and making sure they're playing hard. And these guys have just worked their tails off all year long and competed really, really well, which has been awesome to see. Well, the reps played out east last week and they were handed a couple of losses, but that might not be the worst thing in the world. If anything, this past weekend was a really good learning experience for us that maybe we're not as great as we have been or, you know, at least show that we can lose a game here and there. So, um, you know, find a way to just sharpen up on all aspects of the game and go into the tourney playing our best ball. Well, the reps are on the field right now against Minot, and we're planning highlights for you on First News at 10. Ray Schmaltz hit an excellent six iron on number 11 at Riverwood. He made a hole in one from 140 yards. So congrats to Ray. All right, way to go. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back after this.